Do you ever self-tape? Do you have to self-tape? No, I don't now. I'm do you appreciate what hell it is for actors to oh, have to self-tape? it's terrible. I mean, Colin must do it all the time, but he probably does it brilliantly, right? I, well, it's the, the one thing that actually probably could make us get a divorce is when he does a self-tape. Because yeah. I am a director, so sometimes I give some notes. Right. And I'm not allowed to look at him. I have to look somewhere else so that, you know, he can do his... And are you behind the, the phone or yes, whatever? Yes, because I'm the cinematographer. You are pushing the button. Working for free, yes. And he says, no notes. Yes, but me. I get notes from how I framed it or how it happened. Yes, yes. I was going to, much later in our conversation, ask about <laughs> theatrical couples, you know, and how they yeah. get on. But however, we shouldn't get into that. I'll yeah. talk about that later. <laughs> You were, we were talking early before, the, before this began about the craziness and the strangeness of what's happening now. You were talking about how we're not really back into it. Yeah. And part of the strangeness for me is the self-tape universe, is the downloading of how do we cast and the kind of off-balance craziness that's put in, into the communities. What do you think is going on? Well, you know, there is nothing that can compare to being in an audition room with the actor, with the dancer, with the singer, because there's an immediate uh, connection and a communication. So, you know, try this. And, and, and I think for an actor, it, it, it's like, I, oh, I see. Okay, what did you think of that? And we had that immediate right. feedback. Um, then what happened with COVID is, it, and we've always been doing sort of from a distance self tapes when you couldn't be at the auditions or directors are, you know, in right. another part of the world. So it's not new to self tape and send something. It can be a great tool if someone can't get to an audition. I guess the thing is, is it can't be the only tool. That's the hard part right now, is we are having to cast solely from a tape and then follow up with a Zoom call. With, and then maybe you can give some notes on a Zoom call. Um, is that how you've cast your last yeah, shows? Over the last few years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now we're back in the room. But yes. Yeah. And And you did you cast any of your Stratford shows? That way, or were that all in the room? I have seen self tapes for Stratford before. Um, definitely, I've seen actual, um, you know, people putting themselves on tape and right. doing the material. That all works until you want to give some notes or some feedback, because it's it's awfully hard for an actor, I think, to be guessing, right? As actors, you know, you don't really. You don't want to make too many choices because you don't know if that's the choice that the director wants or the writer wants. So it's hard not to give feedback to say, hey, well, try, try this or good, let's go this way. I think the thing now is that it is a lot easier to have self-tapes. And so, um, and, and I think to some extent there's more opportunity for actors to be able to put themselves on tape. They may not be able to get to an audition room. So it's a good thing. It just, I just hope that it isn't the norm because I do miss that personal touch in the room. Um, I am going back into auditions in New York in February, so we are going in person and that is... After happening. you've seen them first on a self-tape? No. No. We're, we're back in the room. So what happens, the casting directors will see people first and you know give people some opportunities and then shortlist that and then I'll come in right. with some candidates to, to, you know, because the days are long and there's only so much time and I don't like to rush through that. So. Aren't you? Because I'm wondering in terms of, you know, there you were standing in front of the camera or there you stand in front yeah. of the phone. You surely unconsciously create, curate who you are for the person who's watching. And I know you do that in the flesh. Here yeah. I am auditioning for Donna. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how the use of screens, the portals, is actually shifting the art in the performers yeah. well, and theater. the yeah. directors. I mean, for film and TV, that's always been the way. You've always put yourself on. You know, you've gone in and you've slated and you, you know, you're on camera because that is the medium. That is the medium. You are doing it for a camera.